Patient is a 26-year-old male with a very distal intraarticular fracture to the distal radius. These fractures can be difficult to fix with a single plate. A standard approach is made to the distal radius. The flexor corporealis is retracted radially. The flexor pollicis longus is retracted ulnarly, and the pronator quadratus is released, exposing the very distal intraarticular fracture. Here, the lunate facet fragment can be seen. and the radial styloid fragment. To stabilize this fracture, the new clip dual plate fixation system was utilized. This has a separate hook plate for the lunate facet and two different plates, small or wide, for the radial styloid fragment. The hook plate is placed initially and the plate is adjusted so the hooks stabilize this very distal lunate fragment. The first screw is placed is in the oblong slot. This can be a locking or non-locking screw with the new clip system. In this case, a non-locking screw is placed. Next, the distal screws are placed. I found it to be more advantageous to place the distal screws first as compared to the non-locking slot as it allows the hook of the plate to better stabilize and engage the distal fragments. Here are the distal screws being placed. Fossil review shows excellent fixation to the distal fragment in both the AP and lateral planes. Note how the hook really engages the lunate fragment. The remainder of the screws are then placed in the plate. The radial stylet plate is placed at the level of the distal screw holes of the lunate hook plate. Two plate options are available. In this case, the narrow plate was selected. Uh, the plate basically finds its position and sits onto the radial styloid fragment. As before, a non-locking screw is placed in the oblong hole. The non-locking screw is placed. This can be exchanged later for a locking screw if desired. The locking screw will lock into the plate with the new clip technology. Lateral floor graph shows, again, excellent fixation to the lunate fragment, and now the additional screws were placed in the radial styloid plate.
The remainder locking screws were placed. One can see how distal the lunate hook plate is to really secure that fragment. The last proximal screw is placed in the plate. The plate has been filled with the screws. Fluoroscopic views excellent anatomic reduction to the very distal fragments, both the AP and lateral planes. Final radiographs again show early healing and anatomic reduction to the fracture fragments. Another patient with a again a very distal fracture in both the AP and lateral planes. The new clip plates are selected uh, to secure this very distal fracture with anatomic reduction in both planes. Thank you.